In this video, we're going to be adding a couple menus to our WordPress theme, one here in the header section and one down here in the footer section. And WordPress gives us a couple functions to help us do that. So if we go check out my list here, we're going to be using these two functions in this video. And again, I'll have the references down in the description or the links. So you just click on that and you'll get these pages quicker so you don't have to look around for them. So the first thing we're going to do is go and register our nav menu in the functions.php file. Then we'll go into the dashboard and we'll create the menus. And we'll create two of them, one for the footer and one for the header. And then we'll add the menus to the view or the HTML. And uh, it's going to be the footer and the header.php files. So let's first go into the dashboard and check out the pages that we're going to be adding then. So if we go to the dashboard, and then go to pages, and I already went ahead and created a home page. So that's what we're going to be adding in the header. And also we'll, we'll just reuse the sample page. This is just a sample page WordPress gives you when you first download a WordPress theme. So I'll just reuse that. So we'll have these two links in the header. So let's go also hover on the appearance. And usually when you download a theme, um, usually you have an option here for menus, but we don't have that. So we'll be setting that up pretty soon. So let's go check out the first WordPress function we're going to be using. So we're going to be using this one, the register nav menus. And we're going to, we're going to be adding this inside of the functions.php file. So, and down here, they give us a nice piece of snippet here so we don't have to sit there and type everything out right away. So we'll be changing the names of these in a second. Let's just go copy this and we'll paste this in the function.php file. So inside of the functions.php file, inside of the theme setup function we created a couple videos ago, we're just going to throw this code. And this is going to set up our menus now. So right here, this second parameter is going to show up inside of your dashboard. So we're going to call this, I guess, main menu. That'd be fine. And then I'm just going to go ahead and change this to like primary or something like that. And then this one's going to be for our footer. I'm just going to edit this just a little bit and we'll leave this. That'd be fine and get rid of this comma. So now what this is going to do is it's going to create, it's going to add a menu option to our dashboard. And then these two names are going to show up in there so we could select them to create a menu. So let's just save that and let's go to the dashboard and create our menu. Let's refresh our dashboard. And now if we hover on appearance, our menus should show up. Okay, great. So now we can go and create our two menus. So click on menus. And here in menu name, I'm just going to call one, uh, I guess, main. That'd be fine. This is for our header section. So create menu. Okay, great. So I'm just going to add these two pages to our new menu. And then also I want to attach this to the main Dot menu and you notice these names right here main menu and footer menu that is located right here that's what we named it here so if we go back to our dashboard so i'm just going to attach it to the main menu and save our new menu now the second menu that i want to create so if you go right here create a new menu this is for our footer section now I'm just going to use custom links, like I'm just going to pull in a YouTube link or something like that, it doesn't matter. So this is for our footer, so I'll call it footer. So create menu, and then I'm going to attach it to our footer menu down here. And then I'm just going to use custom links. Now the first one, I'm just going to time lapse this, I guess, YouTube and pull in a couple links, it doesn't matter. Okay, we got a couple of links for our menu. So now all we need to do is save it. Okay, great. So if we go back to our checklist, we went and we registered our menus in our functions page. And then we went to the dashboard and we told WordPress that we want these to create these two menus. So now we need to figure out a way to attach it to the footer and the header. And WordPress gives us a function for that, and that's the WP nav menu. So let's go copy a snippet out of the browser and paste that into our views. So I'm just going to minimize this. And I have that right here, and you'll find this link down in the description, by the way. And if we go and navigate all the way down to the snippets they got down here, we want to use this one, the theme location. So I'm just going to copy this snippet. 
And let's go paste this into our footer and our header. Let's start inside of the header.php file and right inside the header tag, right below the H1, I guess, we'll paste this. And let's create the PHP tag first and then I'll just paste that code. Okay, great, now I'll clean it up a little bit. Now, where is this theme location coming from? If we go back to the browser and we go and navigate up to the middle of the page, right here are a whole bunch of different options you can add within this array right here. Within this array, you can add all these different options. And one of them is the theme location. And this identifies the location to be used. So if you want to read up on that, you could read up on it right here. Then also, here are a whole bunch of different options. You could change the ID, you could add different markup to the menu, and you could really customize it the way you want if you want to just check it all out right here. So if we go back to the page, and we'll just change this part to the theme location name. And where am I getting that from? The functions.php file, this right here. So we're working inside of the header, so I'm just going to copy this. And then go right back to the header page. And then right here, we'll put that, that name. OK. So that should pull in that menu at this location. So let's just save this. And let's go and add this to our footer. Copy that and pull up our footer and then I guess we'll pull this in right here right below the H1 that'd be fine and paste okay great now this one we're, we're gonna be pulling in the footer so if we go back to the functions page and that's gonna be this name right here just copy that go back to the footer and let's paste that right here and that should pull in the footer menu for the footer section so let's save that so now we're ready for testing. So let's go pull up our front end, refresh the screen, and see if we get our menus. Okay, so let's refresh it and see what we get. Okay, great, so we got our menu, our header menu, and we should have a footer menu down here to all our links. So great, so everything's working. So that's how you add a menu to your WordPress theme. So now we're ready to move on to the next thing, and we're gonna be working on pages in the next video. So I'll see you then.